Eşhedü en la ilahe illallah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهدي له فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا حادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير حد حد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر العمور محثثاتها وكل محثثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار ثم عما بعد يا أيها الناس At the praise in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Praising him and seeking his forgiveness and seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evilness and the corruption within our own selves and the corruption that we find within our own selves and the shortcomings that we find within our own selves and the disobedience of Allah that we find within our own selves whomsoever Allah guides there's none that can guide. And whomsoever Allah misguides, there's none that can guide. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. He is alone without any partners. And I bear witness that the Prophet alayhi salatu was is his servant and his messenger. To proceed, ya ayyuhal ikhwa, we want to remind ourselves, as always, with the consciousness of Allah, with the remembrance of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the fear of Allah, the Lord of the world, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Today, we want to remind ourselves with a tremendous affair. And this tremendous affair is the heart. This tremendous affair that we want to look at, it is the heart.
the command to purify our hearts from sin. This is something that is essential. This is something that is wajib. This is something that is obligatory. This is something that is mandatory. Purifying our hearts. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He mentions in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal nas, Ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Qad aflaman. Ma'adha? He has succeeded. Allah Azza wa Jalla, He says, قَدْ أَفْلَهَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ قَبَى مَنْ دَسَّاهَا He had succeeded. Who purif- the one who purifies his soul. And he has failed. The one who corrupts it. He has failed. The one who corrupts his soul. The one who... Let evil takes over his soul. The one who does evil and corruption. This is the individual who has corrupted his own soul. Ya ayyuhal nas. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, Yawma la yanfa'u ma la wa la ma'adha? Yawma la yanfa'u ma la wa la banoon. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهِ بِقَلْبِ السَّلِيمِ A day when there would be no benefit. It would be no benefit, no money will will benefit the individual. His car won't benefit him. His husband, her husband won't benefit her. She won't benefit her husband. The children won't benefit at all, except what? Qalb salim except for the individual who comes with the clean heart, who comes with the purified heart, the heart that is clean. Suduq, ya ayyuhal nas, the heart that is clean. It is swept clean from shirk. It is swept clean from kufr, it is swept clean from ma'asi, ya ayyuhal ikhwa, wa ya ayyuhal aqawat. It is swept clean from all of these things that I mentioned. Al qalb is salim. A day when the hearts, a day when there will be no benefits. And their wealth nor their children, but only the one who comes to Allah with a pure heart. This is for us to check our hearts, for us to monitor ourselves, for us to expect our own self, for us to recognize our own shortcomings, for us to look our look at ourselves before we are held accountable, before we stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhal nas, don't look at no one else. Don't look at anyone else. Point the finger at yourself because you are your worst enemy. You are your worst enemy. Look at your, Look in the mirror at yourself. And say, what am I doing to earn Allah's Jannah? What am I doing for Allah to be pleased with me? Brothers, look at ourselves and expect ourselves. Today I want to convey a situation that happened on my job. An individual, Rahimahullah, was missing for three days. Methylin. 
He was missing for three days, as supposedly. So my coworker, he says, I haven't seen so-and-so in three days. Knock on the door and see if he is in there. So I knocked, so I knocked on the door to see if my call, to see if the person was in the room. I had no, no response. I get no response. So I went to open the door. The key just didn't work. So we used a sludge, a, a crowbar to, to, you know, to get inside of the door. And all of a sudden, he's dead on the floor. Dead on the floor. That every soul is going to taste death. It's going to come unexpectedly. All of a sudden. All of this, I shoulda, woulda, coulda, is out the window. I shoulda have done this. I shoulda have done that. It is out the window now. He is dead on the floor. Rahim Allahu Ta'ala. And I met him only maybe a week or so. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he looks at the hearts. He doesn't look at that which you have of money, wealth, status. All of that will go. All of that will go. And the only thing that will be left is your deeds. The only thing will be left it's hasanat or sayyat. We ask Allah for a good ending. We ask Allah to be pleased with us, to have mercy upon us. Akulu kholi hadha, astaghfir Allah li wa lakum. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, hamdun qatiran tayban mubarakan fih, kama yuhibbu rabbuna wa yarda, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina muhammad, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi, wa sallama tasliman kathira, amma ba'du ya ayyuhal nas, we learn from these verses, that our success in the hereafter depends upon the purification of our hearts in this life. We must purify our hearts from spiritual sins such as greed, being stingy with your money, being stingy in supporting the masjid, being stingy in supporting whatever that needs to be supported. And from malice and envy and arrogance and worldliness and their place. <clears throat> so we must adorn our hearts away from all of these things, all of these things that I mentioned, greed, malice, envy. Jealousy and have compassion and love for your Muslim brothers and for your Muslim sisters. Purification of the heart 
was one of the first commands which Moses alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, <clears throat> was sent with Pharaoh. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, اذهب الى فرعون انه تضع فقل هل لك الى ان تزكى so go to Fir'aun right the most evilest individual the most corrupted individual go to this individual for really he is he has trans transgressed all bounds and say to him, فَقُلْ هَلْ لَكَ إِلَىٰ أَنْ تَزَكَّى Would you purify yourself? Would you purify yourself from haughtiness, from greed, from seeking the dunya? Would you purify yourself, Ya Abdullah, from greed, from stinginess, from seeking worldly things? Those who have abandoned the masjid, would you seek the dunya over the masjid? For those who think that they have status in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at Fir'aun. Look at Fir'aun. He thought he had the status in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at him, look at his demise, look at the destruction that he had to face. Look at Fir'aun in the pitiful situation. Couldn't do nothing for himself when it was his time. So we take from these stories and these ayats. Yani tazakka and tazakka. No force of purifying the soul, purifying the heart, purifying our intentions for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshiping Allah, repenting to Allah, tawbu ila Allah, ya ayyuhal nas, repenting to Allah, ayyuhal mu'min, ayyuhal mu'minun, for perhaps you may be successful. For perhaps Allah may show mercy to us. Be merciful to us. Be said be ta'a on account of our obedience to him. Look at ourselves and what we have sent forth for tomorrow. Look at our deeds and what we have sent forth for tomorrow. Subhanaka lahum wa bihamdik. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وأقيم الصلاة. الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله. حي على الصلاح حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله